I'm Doug Imbo with the Lewis Winch Company. I want to show you a brand new product that we've got out. We call it the Lewis Winch Ground Anchor, and that's what it does. It anchors the Lewis Winch to the ground. Now, if you've ever been out in the desert or out in the prairies, got stuck, or had a log you want to pull in, and there wasn't an anchor point in sight, you'll really appreciate this. Now, what this does is it takes the Lewis Winch trailer hitch mount, which a lot of our customers already have, this just goes into the two-inch receiver on any vehicle, but we're utilizing this same product to go into the top of the Lewis Winch ground anchor. I'll show you in a minute how that goes together. The Lewis Winch ground anchor has got a nice pointy end on it. It's got a pound point on the back, so if you're in a real hard soil, you can use your camping axe or a, or a hatchet to pound it into the ground. And then we've got a little hole on the back where you can hook a cable onto it. Should it get buried too deep, it'll be easy for you to pop it back out of the ground again. Again, we'll show you how that works in a few minutes. Now, the Lewis Winch ground anchor has a capacity of about 8,000 pounds. Now, that all depends on soil conditions. Of course, in real sandy soil, you're probably not going to be able to pull the full amount. Now, today, we've got a log set up that's about a 1,000-pound log, and we're going to be putting about 1,500 or 2,000 pounds of force on that log in order to drag it through the sandy soil in the desert. And as I'll show you in a minute, we won't have any trouble with this ground anchor. It works really well that way. We've been testing it all week, actually, and we've been using it to pull out ATVs, and we've been using it to move big rocks, and it works excellent. The only time we had problems with it is when we tried to pull something from up there, and of course it pulled the ground anchor out of the ground. Well, what we got today is we got a little solo mid-sized power saw attached to our Lewis winch. Now, the Lewis winch will pull up to 8,000 pounds using one snatch block and 4,000 pounds in a straight line with a seven horsepower saw. Now, today we've got just a little under a six horsepower saw, so in a straight line pull with this, with this saw on here, we can pull about 3,500 pounds. So the log itself isn't going to give us any problem at all. We know we've got enough horsepower, and we know we've got the holding power with this Lewis winch ground anchor to pull that log in. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to assemble this whole thing, show you how it goes together, give it a couple of whacks of the axe to knock it down into the dirt real nice, and we're going to show you how to pull that log in. What we do is we simply slide the Lewis winch trailer hitch mount into the back of the ground anchor, select the hole for the pin, I'm going to put it in about the middle hole. Now, the different hole selections that we have here are based on ground conditions. Sandy soil, you probably want it in the higher one so that the ground anchor goes in at a steeper angle. In a real hard soil to conditions, the lower one, so our angle is, is, is less steep. So we're picking the middle one for this particular soil condition and putting the safety pin in place. Now what we have to do is we have to get it started. The Lewis winch, when the pull starts, will actually force it all down into the ground. But we've got to get it started. We've got to get it started at the angle we want. So we're going to first step it in a little bit like this. Now, if we were in really hard soil conditions, we can hammer it in. But the soil conditions here aren't that bad, and I can actually force it down and get it started pretty good. Actually, I might give it a hit or two, so just watch your ears. Okay, now that it's in place and it's sitting there fairly solid, we can lift the Lewis winch and set it up on top of the Lewis winch trailer hitch mount, which is already in place. That's fairly simple to do. There's just a shackle on the bottom, drops into that little slot, slide forward, and make sure that's in place. Now that we have that done, I'm going to undo the clutch on the Lewis winch, spool out the cable to our log, hook it up, and we'll come back and bring it in. Now, just a little tip while I've got you here. When you're pulling the cable out on the Lewis winch, I like to put a bungee cord on the brake. A little tension on the, bra on the brake keeps a few from having a bird's nest when you're pulling all this cable out. So we'll do that right now. Now that I've run the cable out and hooked it onto our log, we've got a couple more things we've got to take care of. One is, is let the pressure off the brake so we're not using up horsepower with the bungee cord pulling back on the brake. Then we have to re-engage re the clutch on the Lewis winch. Then we'll fire up our saw. Now once we've got the saw running, we'll take up the slack in the cable, and as the cable comes tighter, I'll put my foot on the back of the Lewis winch ground anchor just to guide it in, and I'll bump the throttle until the, the ground anchor comes in. And once it gets down uh, to a certain point, then the fur lead on the front of the Lewis winch is going to hit the ground, and we're going to have a pinching effect on the ground, and that's what's going to hold this thing into place. And once we get to that point, I'll open up the throttle, and we'll pull in that log. So here we go. First thing, snap in the clutch, twist it around. When you hear it click, you know you got it in place. Hit the decompression on the saw. Turn on the switch. Okay, now I'm going to take up some of the slack. 
Oh, that might hit on so we can guide it into place. Okay, now I can open up the throttle and bring in that log. As you can see, folks, we didn't have any trouble pulling this 1,000-pound log across the desert using the Lewis winch and the Lewis winch ground anchor. Now, what I'll do is just show you how easy it is to pull it back out of the ground once you're done. So the first thing we have to do is release the clutch on the Lewis winch to release the tension. Now we can just slide the winch back off of the trailer hitch mount, set it aside, grip the back of the ground anchor, and slide it out of the ground. And there you are, folks. That's how the Lewis Winch does that.